How's it going everybody? Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting rid of this here stump right here. Um, this is an oak stump, I believe. Um, and um, it's still living. So what I want is I want the oak, the stump to die. And then I want it to decompose and I want to accelerate that decomposition. So I'm going to show you how you can do that. Um, if you have a stump that's already dead, of course you can just you know and you just want to speed up the decomposition this will also work okay so what i'm going to be doing to do that in the process is if i want to be accelerating the decomposition i also want to get a byproduct out of it and so i thought why not just inoculate this stump with a uh, mushroom mycelium okay so over here behind me we have uh, from north spore we have uh chicken no, I'm sorry, hen of the woods uh, mushroom spawn. Now you can do this with all different types of mushroom spawn, as long as it's a mushroom spawn that likes wood. So I've done this with shiitake, I've done it with lion's mane, chicken of the woods, and, uh, and I plan to do it with a lot more other types of uh, mushroom spawn. And I will be updating you guys on the success of that. But what we're gonna be doing today is using um, hen of the woods. Um, so we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this mushroom spawn here and we're gonna place it on the surface of this stump and then what we're going to do is we're going to cover that stump in uh, wood chips. Now the wood chips I have in this black trash can over here are uh, primarily uh, white oak um, uh, wood chips. Okay, so I have a lot of uh, white oak branches on my property, so I just shred them up and made wood chips out of them. Okay, so um, let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do is that moisture is very important. So you want to wet the stump. Okay, so what we're going to do is I've got the bucket of water right here. And we're just going to dump it on this stump and just dump the whole entire bucket. Okay, we want that stump to be nice and wet. And when we cover that stump with the wood chips, the wood chips should hold in that water and prevent it from evaporating out into the atmosphere. Okay, so we're going to wet that stump. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to just uh, cut open this bag here. Got to sharpen this knife. <laughs> cut right through there. All right. And uh, I'm going to save a little bit of this mycelium for something else that I'll show you at the end of the video. What I'm going to save a little bit of it for. But most of this mycelium is going to go right on to the stump. So we're going to just cut a little bit off of there that we're going to save for another purpose. Just cut a little bit off of there. And all we're going to do is we're going to break this mycelium up and place it on the surface of the stump. And you can also place some of it around the edges of the stump so that it can inoculate that bark. So we're going to place some of it on the edges of the stump. All right. Break it up a little bit more. Now that we've got that all uh, broken up and on the stump, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna cover it in wood chips. I have this big trash can full of wood chips. I'll do that now. Now we want to do our best to cover as much of the stump as we can because what these wood chips are going to do is they're going to block out the light from getting to that stump um, and they're going to hopefully kill this stump by allowing things that like to feed off of bark and dead wood to live as well. So this will not only help to kill the stump but it's also going to serve as a substrate, basically a food for the mushroom. Not only that, it's just going to hold in water for the mushroom mycelium to grow. And the mushroom spawn is eventually going to feed on not only the wood chips, but also the stump, thereby accelerating the decomposition of the stump. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually, is uh, moisture is very, very important. So we're gonna dump three more buckets of water onto, the, onto these wood chips, okay? And we're going to 
make sure that our mycelium stays covered. We want to keep that mycelium covered by the wood chips so that it stays nice and moist. back around the stump make sure the stump is nice and covered that's pretty good all right now that we've done that we've got our stump covered with wood chips that will black out the sun from getting to the uh, stump that should kill the stump if your stump was already dead it would simply accelerate the decomposition of the stump the bacteria that will get into the wood chips will also help to feed on the stump thereby increasing the decomposition speed also um, the uh, wood chips have a double purpose of serving as food for the mushroom spawn especially for this since this is a living stump it still has probably a, a strong immune system because it was perfectly healthy when this tree was cut, which means that it has uh, things in its immune system that fight off fungi. And so we want to give this fungi a good chance of being successful. Um, fungi can certainly grow on living wood, but, we, but it does a lot better on wood that's already dead. So by adding the wood chips, which are already dead, we give it something to feed off of, something it to gain a lot of strength from as it will cultivate these wood chips. Then as it cultivates the wood chips, it should eventually cultivate the stump as well, where this stump should provide uh, mushrooms for years to come, okay? So we're, we're decomposing the stump and we're turning something that was a liability into now an asset. Um, it doesn't take us very long to do. You can do this with just about any type of stump. Um, this happens to be oak. Um, but um, there's tons of different uh, mushrooms that feed on all kinds of different uh, stumps. So if you have, for instance, if you have like pine, a lot of mushrooms don't do well on pine, but, they're, but a mushroom um, strain like reishi does really well on pine. So um, those are things you wanna check into. Try to identify what kind of stump you have. For the most part, just about any normal mushroom will grow on most normal types of wood, okay? They like hardwood the best though, but um, they will grow on softwoods as well. So I hope that helped you guys. Oh, and I'll tell you what I was gonna do with this extra spawn here. We're just gonna take this extra spawn and we're gonna put it in a bucket here. And we're gonna take some wood chips and put in here. Um, and we're gonna take some of these wood chips that we dumped because we got plenty of extra ones. And we're gonna just use the, uh, have a bucket of the spawn so that we have more uh, access to more spawn. So that way my spawn, I always have more of it. So in case I wanted to inoculate more trees, I just take some wood chips, put it in a bucket and put some spawn in there. That way my spawn can continue to grow and I'll have more and more of it. This way, if I wanted to keep doing this this year, I could continue to, to, uh, to uh, spawn, put the spawn on other stumps on my property, which I happen to have three acres of stumps on my property. If you guys wanna know why I have three acres of stumps, just subscribe to my channel and, or just look on my channel and you'll find out why. Um, but um, I plan to do this on a lot of stumps here on my property because I'm obsessed with uh, turning every asset of this 10 acre homestead into uh, uh, changing it from being a liability into being an asset. So that's what my goal is with the homestead first and foremost. So um, that's why I'm inoculating these stumps with mushroom spawn and uh, I hope this video was informative to you and I will keep you guys updated on the success of this. But basically, um, mushrooms feed on wood chips. They feed on wood. So if you got wood, you wanna get rid of it, you can feed it to mushrooms. If you didn't want mushrooms, you could just dump wood chips on top of a stump and it would still uh, kill the stump. So that's an easy way to get rid of a stump if you wanna get rid of it. Will it be instant? No. But will it accelerate the decomposition? Yes. It will drastically accelerate the decomposition 
Uh, stumps can last for, for 10 years, but if you put wood chips on it, it could decrease that down to somewhere to much lower than that, many, many less years. So that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. I hope this video was informative. Uh, if I left something out or you have any questions about what I'm doing, feel free to ask in the comments. I hope this was helpful. Thanks a lot, guys. Until next time.